How you doing, ladies and gentlemen? So I'm right outside of Burley um, on Interstate 15. I pulled over on the ramp uh, before you get to the scale. And uh, so um, this is where I'm at. It's a little windy, expecting some rain. So, I'm, uh, Ruthie wants me to, uh, she wanted me to go live. I don't, uh, it takes too long to do this, to do it live. Besides, I'm not pretty enough to do it live like Ruthie B, so. I'm going to set you there and there is what I'm going to cook this is a I believe it's a t-bone oh, it was a ribeye let me see what they called it t-bone steak so we're going to cook us a t-bone steak and we're going to cook it the way I usually do the ribeye and so uh so let's do it. Hang in there. Let's go. Oh, by the way, if you like food that just is so wonderful, uh, you're like, wow, this is how you do it. All right, let's learn together. Let's see if we can get you. I want to get you here. Sorry. Thought I had it set up. Alright. How's that? Now. Let me get out the. Uh, paprika. No garlic. I don't want garlic on there. Paprika. Montreal. And. Uh, where's the cayenne? We got cayenne, paprika, and the Montreal. And I think that, oh yeah, this, okay, so here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit of this on there, just a tad bit. I think it's called Chicago Burger by Chicago Steak by Weber. And then uh, Montreal steak by McCormick. And um, crushed red pickles. I mean peppers. <laughs> Here, let me... It does say pickles, doesn't it? No. What the heck does it say that for? Red pepper pickles flakes. <laughs> anyway, put some of these seeds on there. And then uh, paprika, and I put it on there thick. You won't be able to see the meat. And then cayenne. Okay. Now I need to rub this side in because this is going to go down first. So let me rub in as much as I can. All right. That over. Now we'll repeat the process. All right, let's do that again. The Weber Chicago steak. You know, I can go and get that heat on. Set it up on four, and then the uh, 
McCormick Montreal steak. And uh, crushed red peppers. Paprika. Cayenne. And then uh, the part that most of you have probably never seen or dreamed of. Kraft Zesty Italian. Okay, I'm gonna get my pizza pan. It's also seconds as my plate. And I'm gonna put that over the top just to kind of steam that in on the top. Because uh, that way I don't have to rub it in. I'll put that on there for just a moment. I don't wanna leave it on there too long. Okay, that's probably be about enough. Let me see with the lid. Yeah. So just wanted to get some moisture on the top of that. And uh let that go just a tad bit longer. And then we'll get it flipped over. And I, I like to kind of steam that on there that way this will not all fall off. I mean, I could have rubbed it in, but I didn't. So, yeah. Okay. I know you guys are not going to like this, and ladies. I'm supposed to get something to flip it over, but I'm going to do it like this anyway. I'll poke the fat. All right. This side is seared. Now it will look wonderful. See how we're coming along. I'm over here. Uh, I'm over here cutting up a salad. <coughs> I'm about to get some air in here. The peppers are burning a little bit. And it does do that, ladies and gentlemen. It burns that pepper. So we need to have some ventilation. I am making myself a salad to go with the steak. And uh, so I am trying to keep myself from being unhealthy and uh, being on the road. This is how I've been able to achieve it. Now there's something else most of you don't do. I cut the steak. And as you can see, it's done. So we'll go ahead and turn it off. And ladies and gentlemen, if you cook your steak like this, just the way that I did, I'm telling you, you may be different than me, so maybe Maybe I ain't, dang, but uh, I know uh, my wife and I, we love it. It's just really wonderful. I mean, it's wonderful. You can check it out. There's a recipe for you. I showed you how I did it. And I know it's uh, not what you would normally see on how to cook a steak and so on and so on. But if you try it out, uh, Leave a comment down below if you try it out and check it out and tell us what you think. 
Yeah, almost done with that salad. And this has got a little mold on it. It's been in the refrigerator for about a month. I've already cut off some mold and now it's kind of wet and moldy. I'm not going to use that. So 